Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the amazing visual stuff you can get from Motion Array. All right, let me start out by telling you, I get asked to promote products all the time. And normally I say no, because I don't really think there's a lot of value in them to my viewers or to me. And then when Motion Array came along, because it's part of Artlist and Artgrid, they asked me to take a look at it and I, I didn't have high hopes. I thought, you're probably like a lot of the rest. They're, they're, they're too crazy. They're, they're uncontrollable and they're just a novelty. Boy, was I wrong. The opening of my show, all of those cool little transitions, that's Motion Array. I'm gonna show you more transitions and more than anything, show you how many options you have in one transition and that's what's important. I get asked about transitions all the time because Adobe's transitions, eh, they're stock ones and they're okay. But if you want some flash and cool stuff, then have a look at Motion Array. So go to motionarray.com, sign up for free. It's more than just that. I mean, they've got presets, Mogurts, uh, templates, After Effects stuff, uh, stock video, stock photos, uh, audio, lots of cool things. So check them out. So for instance, you can go to the uh, templates section and you can look for photo, video, text, logos, lower thirds. And if you mouse over these, you'll see a lot of uh, examples. So in this example here, you can see that they're making a uh, horizontal and a vertical version. Uh, let's just go for intros. And I'm not gonna load these up because it would take quite a bit of time. And any of these After Effects ones, I mean, these are real motion graphics After Effects projects. They contain a lot of stuff in there and they're really well put together. The ones that I have downloaded and I've looked at quite a few of them, not only is it an After Effects project, which can be kind of scary, every one that I've looked at has an edit composition. That means that's the place where you make changes to customize the comp, either in text, what the text says, what, what images you're using. And once you drop those all in and export that out, it's like you're an After Effects master. You don't have to be a super uh, After Effects user to understand that. So check that out, go download some stuff. Like I said, lots of uh, cool things. There's presets. When you're in Premiere Pro, in the window menu extensions, once you load the Motion Array extension, it will come up directly inside Premiere Pro. So now I don't have to leave. Everything that you just saw, I can get to right here and drag and drop things directly into my project. So you can search for all of the same things, motion graphics, Premiere Pro, presets, all of this stuff, play it back directly in here. So that's nice. Now let me show you how I'm uh, using some of the, the uh, extensions or some of the uh, transitions because I think they're amazing. So in the effects, there's a bunch of video effects that get installed once you install this and there's motion array effects, you know, things like a bad TV signal, camera shake, chromatic aberration, uh, long shadow, which I'm gonna show you in a second, offset, RGB offset, uh, all of these things are great. If we go to the video transitions, um, under motion array, there's a distorter, film roll. This is what I'm using for my show, the roll push in and the basic roll. Do you see that at the beginning of uh, every one of my shows? We're gonna have a look at some of the other ones in here. There's luminous, there's pusher, shifter, slicer, lots of cool stuff and you just drag them on just like you would do a normal uh, transition. So I've got three timelines to play back and each one is using a different kind of effect. The first one is painting. So these are paint on effects, water droplets or paint droplets that are falling on. So this is based, by the way, these transitions were created by motion graphics artists. So they're at that level, they're, they're After Effects level stuff and they're customizable. These paint transitions are actually made of mats that were create that are are once you install them that's what you're seeing these are photographic captures of painting all right so let's go look at the first one which is the painting effects so there's painting up and down 
We've got some paint cloud that comes in. Uh, this is more drops. And more drops. Now, what I want to show you is when you're doing these kinds of drops, what helps is if you tint, and I've got a tint on the frame behind it. You see, when you don't have the tint, you still get the transition, but it's a little bit hard to see what's going on because you're seeing more of the background. So if you actually add a tint, then it's almost as if paint is falling on and then you see the image. I mean, you 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 have to do it, it's a stylized effect. So the, the next video is actually tinted, but for this example, it, it's not a problem. All right, let's go look at the next one, which is surfing. And these are really popular. These are the zooms and the rolls and all of those. You see that they look great, beautifully done. And the titles too have um, transitions on them. So I didn't animate those with keyframes. I just dropped a transition on the titles so that they pop in like that. And then one more, zoom out. So if you look at the title, this transition is the shifter and you see it come in and it kind of does that really nice motion. So that soft motion in, it's not that rigid kind of, uh, computer motion, and this one too. And that one has an overshoot, boop, boop. So when you click on the transition, you can get some choices here. So it's elastic in, what's the direction? You can pick wherever it's going, you can set the amount, and you can set a motion blur on here. Now, you'll see a little bit of green in the timeline. I've rendered everything. So none of these are, are going to playback guaranteed real time on everybody's computer. They play back pretty well on, on my Dell 7740, but I've got a beefy CPU and GPU in here, but they'll export out fine. So there's another one, it drops down, you can see it bounces. So if you try to keyframe that, that's a pain in the butt. You've got to add multiple keyframes and ease them in and out. Here, I just drop on a transition and it, and this one is a little bit different. This one, you see it float around in the top, and this one is the Rippler. And again, you, you have choices on that. Now for the last one, and this is my favorite one. This is a, like a bunch of, well, I'll play it for you. A bunch of overlays. Oh, that title was also uh, a transition. But look at the uh, optical flares. Beautiful. All right, so here's the cool thing. So the, the, that title is using glitch. Boom, Cor sorry, corruption. Let me turn off the title. And I wanna show you how much you can play with these. So this is bokeh. And I'm going to... All right, so I, I reset that completely just so you could see the transition. So the way it is right now, I've got this, it's dissolving from one to another and it has that, that bokeh effect. So the first thing you can do is just choose a different style, which is pretty cool. It's the same kind of effect, but a different style. So there's three, there's four, and there's five, and you can see four has got that nice, orangey gold chromatic aberration going on. And then you can set how much uh, the scale is, so you can change the overall scale. Remember, these are, are complete images. You can even change the hue. That's crazy, just with a slider. So now it's coming in like that. You can change the overall lightness, so I can take the lightness up or down. Let's go look at one of the other ones in here. There's one, there's version two. Version three. And you can set what the um, blend mode is.
very nice. So you can play with them. So even though there's only a few of these um, light flare flashes, overlay, bulk kind of things, because you've got all of those choices and scale and hue, you have way more to use. Now, the 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 uh, you'll notice that the title has this 3D effect showing up on it, and that effect is long shadow. So that's not on the graphic. That is actually one of the effects. So this isn't a transition. This has a transition and an effect on it. And the effect, the long shadow, you get to tell it the angle and you get to tell it how far and what's the opacity, how, how much you want to go. So this works on anything with transparency and a title has transparency. Gee, what about a green screen? So check this out. This is the long shadow on a person. And she, I've knocked her out of the background with uh, Ultra. So there's Ultra Key taking the background away. And there's the long shadow, which I have very, very far off to the side. So there it is just a little bit, and it follows her completely. So this is why I was so excited about Motion Array, and I use it on my own show. I mean, that says a lot in here. It's one thing for me to just say, hey, this is cool, you can use it, but I wanna use it, because this stuff rocks. It is incredible. The amount of choices you have, the integration right inside Premiere Pro, um, there's integration in After Effects. I mean, I, I could go on for hours and show you everything Motion Array has. Um, all of the stock photos, that, quick, I need some stock photos to throw in to do, to do a slideshow demonstration. Oh, where do I get stock photos? Ah, over there, boop, 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 and drag them in. So it's, it's a lot of cool things. Go sign up for free. Like I said, I don't do this to most companies. I say no to most companies. Oh, and and the other thing I wanted to mention is, you know some of those rotating and flipping transitions? You see tutorials all the time on, on how people use like three or four layers and a whole bunch of native uh, Premiere Pro effects to do that. Do you really want to do that over and over and over again? I don't. That's why I don't do that, because it's a pain. You have to have a sandwich of effects and scale things up so you don't see it. You got to put Repetile in there. Eh. Instead, I just drop in a motion array transition and uh, out goes an amazing effect. Hey, if you're new to video reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly. Any amount we do appreciate it. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to say no, 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 no to all the companies that want me to show stuff and only show you the stuff that really matters.